In the previous episode, we repaired the minecarts. I'm so excited about that. Uh, weather tomorrow is going to be sunny, and then our fortune today is neutral, okay? I am so discombobulated. Uh, annual trout derby has begun. Oh, that's right. I forgot about that. Crap. We should go do that. Uh, how are things going? You must really be making a fortune on that farm. Don't forget your dear old mother when you're a millionaire. Yep. Thanks, Mom. All right, we need to do some iron real quick. And then, yeah, I'm going to go do this fishy thingy. What's this? No, I, uh, uh, uh. Uh, I'm gathering data on correlation between soil uh, alkalinity and the crop fructose levels. Long story short, I need a fresh melon from your farm. If you brought me one, I'd be very grateful. Did I keep a melon? I believe I did for that very reason. Or maybe not. Crap, I may have, I have meloned out here. All right, that's fine. Let's go fishing. Do I have my fishing pole? You know what? Would have been good. Would have been good to put in my inventory knowing that we were going to have this thing. Again, I am very discombobulated today. I'm so sorry. We'll talk about that in just a moment, but uh, it's it's a problem for sure. So let's get rid of those and that. Okay, now let's go fishing. So I have played so many games over the last... 24 hours so many different games um so i've been playing obviously stardew valley right been doing that on the channel got some Baldur's Gate 3 going and that, which i recently returned to right got some uh first impressions videos of random stuff okay what's this we got we gotta look at this first the annual trout derby welcome okay explanation during this event, rainbow trout have a chance of carrying a golden tag. If you find one, turn it in here for a prize. Seems like you don't have it. Okay, cool. Well, let's get fishing, baby. So, yeah, I just, I've been playing a lot of games, a lot of different games. And my first impressions of video I did for, uh, so I'm getting my, my videos caught back up from a day ahead. Okay. Oh, did I get it? Oh, I got a golden tag. All right, get rewards. Tent kit. We received a tent kit. Use this to deploy a one-time tent for sleeping. Can only be used outdoors. Oh, interesting. That means you might be able to like tent up in the oasis. So you don't have to come back. Very interesting. Hmm. I may save that for the, uh, it's a little more complicated to catch than I thought. I may save that for the winter. We'll see. Um, Pike. So yeah, I, I did a uh, one of our first impressions videos tonight to get caught up to where I'm back being one one day ahead. And it was uh, it was an inspired choice. So typically when I do a first impressions video, it is from uh, companies that give me keys. They're like, hey, we got a game for you to look at. Can you check out our game? And I'll, I'll say yes or no. I have full option to decline. I and I, you know, I do the uh, the required thing. I don't know why I was having such a hard time figuring out the word required. Where I I have to put like the description in the description. Like I received this key from uh, you know fill in the blank. So typically I, I get them from a, a site called Key Mailer, which I have a an account on, and my account has like reputation behind it right so like the more games you cover uh the, you know the higher your like rank is on the site so you know people will send you more stuff right well i was watching a game showcase today called the triple i showcase which is such a ridiculous name but it's really good at the same time it's basically a bunch of indie developers got together uh indie developers i really like uh with games that i really enjoy and showed a a bunch of their stuff so like you know like darkest dungeon or um what was the first one that got they was slay the spire was one of them uh, so slay the spire 2 got announced and with its date oh i might be able to reach oh it went away <laughs> as soon as i saw it it was gone um which is awesome but there was a game called death may die i've apparently it's been in early access for a bit like at least a couple months and i've never heard of it which is a surprise because 
I cover a lot of vampire survivor clones. I don't know why I like doing it just so much. Um, but I do. Let's get, get rewards for that. Ooh, got a sprinkler. Hell yes. Um, and so I, I just enjoy playing those games and Death May Die is one of those games, except it's mixed with Hades. It's like the two had a baby and, uh, they also have some like Diablo 2 DNA thrown in there and it's just... As soon as I saw it on the showcase, I immediately went to Steam because I was going to wishlist it because I figured I'll get it when it comes out. Turns out, no, it's been in early access for a couple months. So I bought it immediately. I was like, cool, I'm doing this game tonight. So I did it. Freaking fantastic game. I, I, I give it huge props. But because I've been playing that and I've been playing a bunch of Diablo 4 because I'm trying to finish off my seasonal stuff before season four launches... Um, and I've been playing a lot of Stardew Valley, and I've been playing <laughs> a lot of Baldur's Gate, just all of these games, my brain is so discombobulated. So that's a long intro to this video to say, I'm going to be all over the place in this episode, and you're just going to have to uh, be patient with me. Yeah, it's funny, this is like giving me weird flashbacks. So this event reminds me of where I grew up. I grew up in a ski resort in California and a, a very large one and every summer there would be like uh you know the, the fishing license would, would go up for everybody to get and you would have so many tourists who would come and go fishing in our area which was awesome right but i was i was never a big fisher person i i don't mind fishing but like my dad tried to take me fishing a couple times and i enjoyed going out and doing that with him but it wasn't like ah oh, i can't wait to go fishing again but it reminded me that they would always like stock the rivers and some of the lakes with a bunch of fish and it was always rainbow trout so this just gave me like weird flashbacks of that of like the craziness that is that time of the year where like the fishing uh, starts popping off and you have all these tourists that come and, you know, like you just got couple month break where there you know all the tourists stopped coming to to ski <laughs> and now all the snow is melted and everything so yeah weird weird little like uh just nostalgia i got warp totem farm oh no stop stop fishing and i think i have one more got some omni geodes which is fine uh because i already have a stack of that so it's gonna save me a little bit of space got an iridium chub <laughs> So stupid. Uh, okay. Uh, we got a little longer to, to fish on this, I believe. So let's keep it going. I find it fascinating <laughs> that let's, let's assume there's a person who hasn't played Stardew Valley in like, I don't know, like a year or two. And this big update comes out and then they get interested and they're like, oh, you know what? I'm going to watch somebody play Stardew Valley and they like the YouTube Stardew Valley playthrough or whatever. Stardew Valley 1.6 playthrough or Something like that. Something along those lines. And my video pops up. And they, they may see it like two or three videos there on the, the search. And they're going to be just ridiculous things of, of thumbnails and everything. It's going to be like, I don't know. It's going to be like, <laughs> it's going to be like, um, my, uh, my finding of the, 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 what was it? The, uh, the rainbow with the pot of gold where I have my like help or my hat now or like this the trout derby it's like what or or just like random stuff like that that's happened so far in our playthrough that it's just so new and different you would assume looking at it it has to be like modded especially with like these really bad quality sprites that are sitting next to me um not to say that they did a bad job with them. It's like they're very clearly lower quality sprites because they're just a tourist who's going to be here for a single season, right? So it's just funny to me. It's it it's ridiculous in a way that um you know someone who's who hasn't played the game in a while is going to YouTube search find my video and be like, what the hell is happening in this game? Got a bucket hat, but my inventory was full. Did it give it to me? It did. Oh, that's that's a weird looking bucket hat. I mean, it is 
a bucket hat, so I guess it makes sense, but if I eat the spice berry, I probably should. Let's just go ahead and eat it, baby. I really have things on my farm that I need to do, but at the same time, I might get more sprinklers. <laughs> I'm just gonna keep going until it kicks me out. My inventory is kind of a mess. I'm gonna eat these squash and get rid of them. But I have, I have picked up quite a lot of stuff here. Um, I don't know how long I should actually do this for. It is a concern because I, I do have to do all of the, uh, all of the normal farm chores. I gotta take care of my animals. Actually, I probably should go do that. I gotta take care of my animals. I gotta do the watering. I've got to um, go and do my picking of my berries and everything. Like, yeah, I, pro I probably should collect this one and then go. Did we get a, a ticket? No, okay, that's fine. I for sure can sell all this fish for quite a price as well. So like that plus the blueberries, we're gonna make a bunch of money. Tomorrow is Sunday, which means we get our traveling merchant, so I gotta hold on to a little bit of the money for that, but maybe I, oh, I don't have enough wood and stone. Otherwise I would upgrade my house ASAP, but yeah, that's a whole other issue. Okay, so we got a keg. Um, I might pop this in our house actually, just temporarily, uh, because we need to make a wine. So I'm gonna take the salmon berries pop one of those in there. We're going to make wine. Beautiful. Um, that will allow me to turn that one in and finish that bundle as well. Feels pretty good. What else have I got here? I have two of these. I, got, I really got to figure out my inventory actually. Um, I'll, I'll go back to that in a second, but like it's not, it's not great right now. Sell the blueberries. Sell that. Um, I got a bunch of squash I still got to get. Let's get rid of some of this. Goodness, this is um, this is a problem. Oh no, my fence is starting to degrade. I just noticed that. Okay, well, we need to upgrade it with hardwood fence anyways. But that's that. I don't like that about Stardew Valley. <laughs> I wish the fences would just stay. I, I just it seems it seems like an unnecessary amount of like overhead. You know what I mean? You know, I forgot to plant the star fruit. Hmm, totally forgot about that. Oh well. Should, I should have done it, but yeah, don't, totally missed out on that. I'm gonna try to sort out my inventory a little bit better here and then uh, we need to go to bed. What are we gonna get? Bunch of money from our blueberries, bunch of money from the fish, <clears throat> and 8,000 total. That's pretty good. I could run over and do the highest um, gold count bundle, which I think is like 25,000. I think that might be a safe thing. Queen of sauce. Uh, Maki roll. Yes, we needed this. We needed this. Now we can upgrade our house because we needed this recipe. This is one of the things that we need to make for the bundle. Some, uh, some sand, or <laughs> some sand, some sushi. The delicate flavor of the ocean sealed within a pillowy cloud of rice. Maybe a little bit of wasabi for the adventurous. My mouth is watering as we speak. Oh, how I love sushi. I love sushi too. Weather report. Gonna be clear and sunny. Cool, fortune teller. Neutral, neutral fortunes. Yeah, I've, I've gathered that. <laughs> Seems about right. Uh, thank you for purchasing a coop upgrade. I'm, uh, in addition, I'm doubling, or in addition to doubling the capacity for your coop, I've taken the liberty of installing an incubator. To use the incubator, simply place an egg inside. If you have space left in your coop, the egg will hatch in several days. As always, thanks for your business. Yep. Um, we got to go buy ourselves some ducks. Yeah, we got to get our ducks in a row. Pop some of these in here. I need like a lot more wood for the house upgrade. I got the gold for it, but yeah, the wood is uh, a concern. Um, I'm going to take care of my uh, animals first. And then I think after that, we're going to go to do um take care of my crops and then secret woods and traveling merchant ducks you know the the full little monty i just had to spend so much more of my time repairing this than i really wanted to it's fine i just i just wish <laughs> just wish it wouldn't take that long did i ever pet my cows i'm not sure if i did maybe i did i must have okay that's fine 
Um, yeah, now I can finally water everything. I'm good. It's almost 11 already. You know what? I, I'm making the executive decision to come back and finish watering. I'm doing the math in my head. I'm trying to figure out how much time we actually have left in the day because we have to get to the blacksmith before four. We got a plum. Ooh, we got an apricot. Oh, that might mean we could finish a bundle, maybe. I, n I think I need the apricot for something, right? To do? I do. Interesting. All right, we'll, we'll take a look at that. But to finish my point, I have to get to the blacksmith by four. I also have to do the secret woods. I have to buy my stuff. I have to buy my ducks and whatnot. I have to go possibly to Robin's, considering going and checking prices of stuff. Not just, you know, upgrades. Uh, what do we got here? Artichoke? No. Pickles? Nope. Uh, nope. None of this stuff. Don't need any of it. It's fine. It's perfect. I'd rather not need any of it. <laughs> it means I'm not wasting my money. Okay, duck number one. We need, uh, uh, let's see. This, this was what? Baldur's Gate 3 stuff? Uh, how do you spell her name? Liz... The Zale? I think that's what it is. Do the Zale? The Zale? The Zale? I don't know. <laughs> She's my least favorite of the companions. Uh, oh no, I wanted to re or we'll rename her anyways later. Uh, we'll purchase one more duck. Um, what's a? I think I, I have Will. I think I have Carlac. I have, um, Oh, you know what's a good one? Let's go Halson. I don't think I have a Halson. So. Let's go Halson. <laughs> cool. Alright, we'll let her do her thing. Move those people over there. I gotta get to the blacksmith. We're quickly running out of time. You know what? I actually have to donate things over here first. Because I have no inventory space. I think, I think so. We'll double check that. Yeah, I've got like no inventory space. So let's donate these to get rid of them. I'm not even going to collect that reward right now. We'll come back for it. Now I get to go do all of these because I have a feeling the geodes are just going to fill up the rest of my inventory when I open them up. Bunch of bunch of random crap to go turn in. Okay, process. Oh, let's do the magma one first. Free up that space. Fire. Okay, I'll take the fire quartz. Stone. More stone. <laughs> More stone. It's going to be one of those days. Ooh, fire quartz. <laughs> Look, I'm just glad it's not taking all my inventory space. Okay, now now it is. We got one more after this one. And we just have the normal geode. Yeah, we got plenty of space now. Beautiful. Alright, so now I can go turn this stuff into the museum. Don't have to worry about that time anymore. And then we can collect our rewards, obviously. Donate. Uh, we got three things here. Two and three. Beautiful. Two rewards out of this. Oh, I got the stupid bear. I hate that bear. <laughs> I'm not going to put it down. It's not that... Okay. <laughs> Hold up. It's not that I hate the bear. The bear is fine. It's that whenever I was playing with my wife and kids, and the kids would get the bear, they would just go put it in the most annoying spots. Like... It was like right next to their door as you walked in. So you had to like walk around the bear. It was really annoying. Um, need a quartz. Yeah, we can do that. So Emily needs a quartz. Uh, you guys let me know in the comments. I don't remember exactly who it was specifically, but I did read it and respond to it. That this little star thing up here tells me how many I need to complete before it'll give me a ticket. So I need to complete two more before the next one will offer a ticket which is like the biggest pro tip that I could imagine. And I didn't know. I had no idea that that was a thing. So that really helps. I guess it helps to look at the UI, you know? <laughs> I just glance over it. There's so much other stuff going on, right? Uh, especially in my head. There's so much going on in my head that I'm just, I'm not able to, to focus on that. Am I crazy? Do I not know where Emily lives? Oh, this is like totally the wrong house. Isn't she supposed to be, like, sitting around in her house all day? Isn't that where she normally is? <laughs> Crap. Is she, uh, doesn't she work at the saloon? Isn't that the other place? Okay, let's go Let's go check there. Um, 
I have no idea where Emily is supposed to be. <laughs> I'm gonna have to look this up, aren't I? Uh, goodness, okay. Let's, I'm totally twisty turned it around. Oh, look, I told you, it's not, today's not gonna be my best day. Oh, she's right there, perfect. It was her, right? Yeah, okay, good. Hey, I got a quartz for you. Take it. Uh, saw the notice, really appreciate it. Let's see here, what do I owe you? You owe me 75 gold. Totally not worth it, but it is worth it because it gives me that extra, got stuck on the thing there. Gives me that extra star, which means I need to complete one more and then the one after that will give me the ticket. It's far, far more important to know. Okay, so I come over here, the artisan bundle, turn in the apricot. Um, so cheese, honey, pomegranate, peach, goat cheese, cloth, or truffle oil. Well, we're going to get cheese. So this bundle is as good as done. That one, we're going to get the milk eventually, not right away. And we're going to get the duck egg. So that's two of it. We need a goat or, or sheep. Totally fine. Fall crops, obviously we'll get there in quality crops. I think we're going to have that before the end of the season. I, I am like astonished how well we've done here. I think the last thing I will do is come over here and just pop a couple of these bundles. So we have the 10,000, the 5,000, and 25,000. I think I'm just going to go ahead and hit the big one. Just get it done with. We, we got the thing to make more diamonds, which I'm totally going to do. Um, oh, and there was also, what, a 2,500 one? Yeah, let's get that one too. Chocolate cake, baby. So we just have two more of these. This will repair the bus for us. We're not going to get, what was it, five and 10,000? So we got 15,000 more. Yeah, when our blueberries pop, I think we're, I think we'll probably reach that pretty easily. Um, what am I doing? I need to go back to the farm. I need to finish watering. I still haven't done that. I feel like these last two days in the game have been chaos. Okay, I got everything done, I think, that I wanted to get done. I even got some gold cooking overnight. Not a lot. I have like 20 iron bars though, which is pretty good. Got like no money that day. Totally expected though. This is fine. Like I, I'm gonna walk out and there's gonna be a bunch of blueberries. So that feels nice. So your weather report, beautiful sunny day. It's just all sunny. They're very displeased. The spirits living off the land. Most towns have a seasonal calendar in front of the general store. It's a good idea to check on that now and then to get a feel for what's going on in the community. Make sure to check for any job postings as well. Um, just remembered, it's now time to go feed Maru. <laughs> Maru, take my cauliflower. Uh, yeah, we got, we got 18 left. We got plenty. Cool. All right, back to farm chores. Oh no, I'm gonna have such a hard time finding all the, the little chicks in here. Is that one? That was one. <laughs> oh goodness, it's Will. Oh, oh, it's the one up here. Ah, there we go. St Starian. No, no, I don't want to click on the Starian. Let's get it into my way. I think I got all three of the chicks. Okay. Uh, that's gonna take a couple days for that, but I think. What do I have? I have three chickens. I have three ducks. I have two spaces available. I think I go ahead and get an extra duck space going. So does it really matter what kind of egg I use? I'm not sure. Let's pop one in and find out. Um, eggs. Let's do that one and that one. Okay. That should that should keep them happy for a little bit. I I think our strong point with this farm is the Oh, we gotta go get the milker, milk pail. Um, our strong point with this farm is the cattle, and livestock and all that. But that's, it's a process, right? It's obviously a process because even though the, um, yeah, give me your milk. Even though the farming can kind of take up quite a bit during the day, once you get to the point where you have a bunch of sprinklers and whatnot, it's like, this then takes the takes the cake. Um, but there is a difference because there is a point at which you get the auto loaders and auto whatever. So not only do, do you get like the auto feeder when you upgrade, which we now have um, on the coop and then we'll soon have here, which means that there's always food for them to have as long as they have food. 
But then we're also in the situation where you can get the auto like collectors. So it auto like picks up all the eggs and everything. It doesn't put it in the the mayonnaise machines or, or anything like that. So there's still kind of the, the overhead on that one. But you know, it's it is nice, but it's still not perfect, you know? I just wish that there was just slightly more that you could do. Um Man, I need more bars of everything. We need more quartz cooking up. Uh, yeah, I, I, I wish that it, it could be a little bit more automated, but at the same time, I kind of, it's kind of part of the game, right? It's playing the game. I don't want to automate too much of it. Um, we can go ahead and make a couple, speaking of automation, um, a couple more sprinklers. So we can go pop those down. Yeah, it's just the quartz that I'm missing at that point. I'm pretty happy with that. Uh, let's put it back in there. Go dig this out. I gotta go put my milk pail away. Clear that one, which then means we can put this one there. And then we go one, two, it's this one as well. <laughs> Help wanted. Hey, will someone say hi to everyone in town for me? I wanna spread a message of community spirit to die t today. Emily, everyone will like you a little more. I mean, I guess, but honestly, a 20, I'm not finding all 28 people. I'm sorry, Emily. You're, it's unobtainable. Such a such a bad quest. <laughs> that one, it's got two days. Well, two days to 28 people though. Mm, maybe, I don't know. We'll see about that. All right, Mario, what sort of gadget should I tinker with? You know what? I should tinker with this cauliflower. <laughs> Maybe as well say hi to you too while I'm walking by. I think I'm gonna go into the mines just for a tiny bit. I put down three more um, sprinklers after the two we already put down, so I'm feeling pretty good about that. My pet guinea pig, David, just hates this hot weather. He's fussy. Man, tell me about it. <laughs> the same way. Why do I live in Florida? Don't ask me. Wood is a wonderful substance. It's versatile, cheap, strong, and each piece has its own unique character. Okay. Is Demetrius in here? Can I say hi to him? Oh, pick up that grape while I'm in it. Nope. Great. Great. Thank you. <laughs> you heard me clicking. They should have picked it up. He's not here. Okay, cool. Fine. Ignore him. Uh, Minus, maybe? He's like usually up over here, but sometimes he's wandering around. I can hit him up. Um, the reason I'm kind of doing these guys over here first, very few people have gone as deep into the mines as you have. I know. Um, the reason I'm doing these people over here first is because when I go back home, I'm going to use the minecart. If I come back this way, I'm going to use the minecart, right? I'm not going to like do this whole thing. The only reason I walked this way to begin with was because I knew that Maru was next to the community center. Um, does, does that technically count as talking to him? Probably not, huh? Can't even get behind the counter to talk to him. What about the old man? Does he count? Come back when you got something to show me. Yeah, 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 yeah. What about this? I have not even done 20% of the slimes that we need. Ay, ay, ay. Do I have anyone close? Not really. <laughs> That's fine. It's not, it's not a huge priority for me. Oh, you know what I haven't even tried doing yet? Can I break this yet? I can! Oh, I totally forgot about him. Can't understand a word he says, because he's a dwarf. Duh. That's it. I just gotta get my reputation up with that little dwarfy boy. You know, I don't have any health, I don't have any time. My luck is so bad today, I'm going home. <laughs> That's just, that was it. That was, there was no other consideration. Oh no. I'm stuck up here because I can't see. Oh, okay, crap. Okay, so we gotta, we gotta eat this grape real quick just so I have the energy. <laughs> Figure out what the heck is here. Um, no. Okay, got that. Crap. What? What else is here? Okay, I got that. Is it now a tree? <laughs> I forgot that there was stuff in my way. What is this? Okay, it's another tree. Why? Why is there so much crap in my way? <laughs> I, I meant to come up and clear that out, like, I don't know, three or four episodes ago. 
obviously I had completely forgotten to do so. Um, right, we got enough to make a couple more gold bars, right? So let's do that. Um, put all that in there. And then I'll do another quartz while I'm at it. As well, makes the most sense. Um, as far as everything else in my inventory, well, I'll just dump it. I don't need any of that or that. Uh, although there is, I, I haven't collected any void essence yet, so that's kind of a new one. Um, let's pop this in here. All right, now we'll wrap this day up. This episode has been cursed, minus our trout. I feel, I feel like the trout fishing went really well. <laughs> Everything else is just, man, my, my brain is just gone. All right, so we have, I think now with everything else, now just enough to finish that bundle um, if we wanted to. So we could go turn that in and move on. Mm -hmm.